Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem and its converse for the discrete channels only. So, what do you understand by Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem? This Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem gives us a relation between the rate of transmission of information over a channel that is denoted by capital R and the capacity of the channel that is C. Let us assume that here is a discrete memoryless source that emits the symbol X over a channel and the rate of transmission of the symbols over this channel is denoted by R. Also this channel have some capacity and the capacity of this channel is denoted by C. So the work of the Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem is nothing but showing the relationship between the capacity of this channel and the rate of transmission over which the information is being transmitted over this channel. So this is how the Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem works. So here is the statement of the Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem. It states that the transmission of information in presence of noise over a channel is possible if and only if the rate of transmission of information is less than or equals to the capacity of channel over which the information is transmitted. So let's understand this statement by the help of this diagram. Assume that this channel is noisy channel and if we emit and transmit the information over this channel then we will not get the original information as its output. But according to the Shannons, it says that the transmission of this information over the noisy channel is possible if and only if the rate of transmission that is R is less than or equals to the capacity of the channel that is C. So this is all about the representation of Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem. Now let us have a look at the converse of Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem that we discussed. The converse says that the transmission of information in presence of noise over a channel is not possible if the rate of transmission of information is greater than the capacity of that channel over which the information is being transmitted. Since the Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem says that the transmission of information over the channel is possible if and only if the rate of transmission of information is less than or equals to the capacity of channel and its converse says that the information transmission is not possible only if the rate of transmission is greater than capacity. So this is all about the Shannon Noisy Coding Theorem as well as its converse. Now in case to get the errorless transmission then the error detection and the correction code should be added. So let me write it in case to get errorless transmission the error detection and correction codes error detection and correction codes should be added to the original signal should be added to original signal So in this way we will get errorless information that we transmitted over the channel by adding the error detection and the correction code to the original signal. Now let us have a look at the relation between the rate of transmission that is R and the channel capacity. So relation between 
R and capacity delta is C. So, its relation can be shown by the help of a graph. So, here is a graph that shows the relation. Here, if we talk about this section, then it shows the area where the rate of transmission is greater than the capacity of the channel. Here, the rate of transmission is equal to the capacity of channel. And if we talk about this area, that is upper side, in this region, the rate of transmission is less than the capacity of the channel. So, this is all about the Shannon noisy coding theorem and its converse also by the help of the relation and the graph. If you like my videos, then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.